So a great question this time of year is, when is my garden finished? When should I start to pull everything out? And even though we've had a couple of frost warnings in our area, we haven't had a frost. So I would say there's three major reasons that you would want to finish up with your garden. One is that there's a frost coming, a real frost. The other one is that you uh, have pest and disease pressure. And then the other one is just really convenience. So maybe you want to put something else in the bed or maybe you're done harvesting and fed up with that, with that crop. We've been picking pretty consistently from all these beds all summer and I've been waiting until the last moment just to see if I can get a few more tomatoes to ripen up, a few more of the tomatillos to get big, maybe a couple more eggplants out of here, but I think we're at our limit. Everything's ready to go. It really feels like the last days of summer here because we're going to start taking out our summer garden and putting everything to sleep right now. So you're going to be watching for frost. If you're waiting for that day when you have low nighttime temperatures, but also clear skies. If you have rain and low nighttime temperatures, you're not really going to get a frost unless the temperatures fall below zero. But those two, three degree nights, your weather should tell you frost warning, frost advisory. And as you get to know your garden space, you're going to also know uh, what are the areas that are going to frost first, what areas are a little bit protected, what to watch out for. Another thing that tells me to take my plants out and be done with it is pests and diseases. So pests, not really so much this time of year, but maybe you've had somewhere where there's an infestation and the plants aren't healthy. You can get rid of those um, diseases. You're going to see especially fungal diseases late in the fall. So fungal diseases really like wetter weather and they like cool nights and hot days. And that's what we have a lot of the time, especially in the Maritimes in the fall. So we've had a lot more rain lately than we've had all summer. And that's going to mean that the fungus can get going, um, it can reproduce, and it can spread really easily among your plants. So I'm seeing some late blight on these tomatoes, um, cucumbers and zucchinis. We've started to get both powdery mildew and downy mildew. So I want to finish those off and get them out of there. I've been removing leaves as I see them, but it's kind of at a point where they're, they're pretty much ready to go. Not much I can do. Once they start to spread, the spores are kind of everywhere in the environment. Another thing that might tell you your garden's done is just that you've got enough food from it. I just picked a whole bin of tomatillos. Uh, it's interesting because tomatillos kind of I think of as a summer fruit, it's also verde. We're going to process all these, but uh, maybe you've had your fill of tomatillos you don't really want to process anymore. In that case, pull out the plants, be done with them. Same with cucumbers, same with tomatoes. Tomatoes you can always like freeze pretty easily, so I find it's harder to give them up, but if you're done and you've had enough and you can't share any more food, you might just pull out plants and be done with the garden. Gardening can be a lot of work in the summertime and sometimes it's nice just to sort of put things to bed, uh, finish off and not think about it anymore. Think about next year instead of think about this year is really the way I think about it because I'm kind of always thinking about gardening to be honest. And then there's also if you're working on a processing project. So I have a lot of green tomatoes left here but I love making green tomato chow. It's one of my favorite recipes. I've been making it every year. So that's a good time to just take everything off your bush and get rid of it. And really it's about making the garden work for you. So we have certain seasons in the restaurant. I'm trying to do things during certain times of the year because um, I want to maybe process everything for basil at a time that's convenient. I want to make chow when I have a couple days off to do that. Um, so don't worry too much about pulling things out a little bit early and don't also worry if you have to wait a little bit too late. You're usually going to get a couple light frosts before you get the killing frost, the frost that actually goes down uh, cold enough that the plants are just going to totally die back and it'll kill all the leaves. So you have a little bit of time and you have a little bit of warning. So don't get too worried about it. Do it on your own time. Do it on your own terms. Do it a little bit at a time and, and your garden will be ready to go for next year.